Botflies lay eggs on other insects, called vector hosts, which in turn carry the eggs to other locations. When the vector bites a bigger host, like a cow, the eggs sense the new host's body heat and burrow beneath its skin. The larvae stay under the skin for months, happily munching away. It's a nice, safe spot for the little parasite, but it's not so fun for the unwitting host. Especially when that worm takes up residence in an inconvenient location. National Geographic photographer Joel Sartori is the proud surrogate parent of a botfly larva. He's not quite sure when he became a father, but when you spend that much time with bugs, that's one of the stinging ones. Something odd is bound to happen. He shot a lot of close ups, but he never thought he'd be this close. Man. Ah, es grande, boro, eh? Aquí está. Sí, boro. Traditional treatments involve covering up the larva's breathing hole so its head emerges then grabbing it and pulling it out. <laughs> Parasitic larvae like the botfly can live in almost any part of the body, even the scalp. This woman, Vanessa, found out the hard way. She returned from a trip to Belize carrying a very unwanted souvenir. Oh God, he saw it. A bug in her head. First, she tries to smoke it out, to no avail. Next, a high-tech medical remedy, tape over the larva's breathing hole, and the worm emerges. It's kind of stuck. Sort of. Yes, that was living in a woman's scalp. If they never encounter tape and a pair of tweezers, the botfly babies eventually come out on their own. If allowed to eat their fill, the larva will burrow out to pupate. But this is one baby that no one would want to keep. Ow. Oh, God, that hurts. Even the botfly. 